Good morning guys, how are you doing? It's 8 a.m. in the morning, Saturday, and I'm just about to finish my lower body workout. And I know that some of you just started training in the gym and maybe are worried about getting injuries. And trust me, I've gotten nearly all of them while training. So today I want to give you the three major sources for getting injuries in the gym. So you can get the gains that you want without suffering unnecessary pain. The first source of injury is cumulative trauma, which is doing an exercise wrong for multiple times. Usually injuries don't happen in the gym or outside if you just do one bad move. They happen over continuous months or maybe even years. So this, this phenomenon is called cumulative trauma, which then can lead to an injury. A good example here is your back. I suffered from lower back pain for a couple of months when I was about 18. And it was because I did the squat wrong. You see, when you do the squat, you can go until 90 degrees with your legs, or you can go lower, but then your lower back makes a slight arc. It bends a little bit. And over time, this can injure your discs, which, you, which then can result in pain. Another important thing that we have to realize when we're talking about pain in general is that usually when you, where you feel the pain is not what caused it. So you can feel pain in your upper back, but it can stem from your lower back. So pain is a kind of difficult topic to talk about. Now the second reason why people get pain in the gym is because of asymmetrical loads. When you re-rack the weight, for example, try to do as much as you can with both hands. Otherwise, if you do like one hand, you got asymmetrical loads on your back. The same thing in a different perspective happens when you're training too much of your chest and neglect your back muscles. This usually results in a bad posture or in shoulder injuries. Another thing that you have to be careful about is when you, for example, train your chest is that you keep your wrists straight, okay? If you keep this asymmetrical or if you keep this not in a straight line, while doing, for example, the bench press, okay, you reduce your, you increase your injury risk here on the wrist okay so keep your wrist straight they have to load over the whole structure and not just on one point this is also asymmetrical in a broader sense the number three reason why people get injuries in the gym is because of underdeveloped passive structures and this happens the most to beginners why because beginners start out and when they think they can push for example a certain weight they do it but they shouldn't why? Because your muscles have a faster metabolism than your passive structures, meaning your ligaments and your bones. So your muscles adapt faster to the training than your bones, for example. A good example for this is when you're doing, again, with the wrist, or when you're doing, uh, for example, skull crushers, you feel it in your elbows. <laughs> the passive, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> when, you feel, when you feel it in your elbows, it's usually a good, a good sign that you're that your uh, ligaments can't deal yet with, this, with the stress that's on them yet. So you always have to get easy and especially if you're a beginner, don't overdo it. Start easy, get into a habit and over time you will see results. All in all, we have to realize that the gym doesn't create much injuries. The baddest injuries that I ever got, for example, with my knee still, uh, I never went to a doctor, but I, can, I often get knee pain, was from martial arts. Other sports are much more dangerous if you look at them than the gym. Okay, so you always have to put this into perspective. You just have to follow three major rules, okay, which is avoid cumulative trauma, always do your workouts with the best form possible, to avoid asymmetrical loads, so always train symmetric and pay attention to little, little details like the wrist, for example, when doing an exercise and three, give time to your passive structures so, you can, so they can develop properly. So take it easy in the, in the beginning. Okay guys, I wish you a great weekend. Hope to see you next time. QG out. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> if you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.